In this video, I'm going to quickly go over getting set up with the default JSON files um, for the search and filtering add-on plugin. Uh, so thank you first of all to all you guys who are going to do the beta testing for me. Um, so as mentioned on the description of the page, uh, the initial beta versions will not have the automatic installer and the actual release version there will be an automatic installer that will install these default JSON files for you. Um, but to get you guys started and just go ahead and show you how this works. So as you can see here, I've got a blank obviously install here that has, doesn't really have anything in it. First thing you definitely need to do is for sure make sure that you activate your license. Uh, go ahead and get this, get your license key, It's all, everything's free. Uh, get that from your actual My Account page. Go ahead and put this in here so that you can go ahead and get um, everything set up and running. So uh, once you get that activated, then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over to uh, the job listings one. And you'll notice up here in the top, you'll notice how it has this import button right here. So you should have downloaded the zip file that has all the JSON files in it. So all you're going to need to do is just click that import button. And then as you can see here, there's a bunch of different files that were in that JSON file. So if you're not using the capstone or the jobify or the listify um, one, then all you're going to need to do is just these two default ones right here, the top default search, go ahead and import that one, and then go ahead and do the default job types one. This will give you the basic default layout setup of the um, basic filters that are in there, so you can go ahead and customize that. Now you'll notice in the top right corner here, you also need to make sure that this is enabled. Uh, if you have this disabled, it won't actually show up on there. And just to give you a quick show you how that works, go ahead and go over here, jobs, and you'll notice, now you can see we have this here. You'll notice in the top here, if I um, disable custom search and filtering, you'll notice this is the default layout. This is without everything enabled. You'll notice this is the default layout. So obviously here I don't have the categories one. So if I re-enable custom search and filtering, which that is just this menu item is just basically a shortcut for this. Um, you'll notice we have these on here. If you're not using categories, you can just go ahead and delete this category field right here. Uh, it's really, once we get this set up and I have the installer, it'll detect whether or not you're using categories to install this or not. Um, but as you can notice, once you get this set up, you import those JSON files, you'll be able to come in here and you'll be able to do your editing on, on all these fields and stuff. Now you may notice a little bit of styling issues here. Uh, you'll notice like this X button over here is kind of red and stuff like that. It's an issue I'm working out that has a problem with themes that use generic CSS that are applying their styles to all my plugin stuff. Uh, so I'm still working on that. If you have any major issues, let me know. Um, but besides just minor stuff like that, it's not that big of a deal. Um, so as mentioned, we have these default ones here. You also have them for resumes. And so right now there's a basically only one default one for resumes. So if you come in here, you'll see the default resume filters. Go to import that one. That's all you need to do. And again, you'll have to enable it as well if you need it enabled. Um, for the job one, as mentioned, when you do the import, if you're using the capstone theme, you know, import these capstone files. If you're using the Jobify one, import these ones. If you're using the Listify, import these ones. Realistically, if you're testing with, say you're testing with, um, you know, the capstone and uh, some other non-default theme, you can actually make it not work. <laughs> okay, there we go. You can still have them imported in here. And so you'll see I have these on here. And really all you need to do is just disable them. So if you're switching back and forth between themes, maybe you're testing with a default theme and then you're testing with a capstone theme, um, you can have them imported if you want. You can have as many as you want here. You can enable or disable them. Totally up to you. Um, it's just going to change how stuff looks. Um, so that's really all you guys need to know from there. If you have any questions, let me know.